Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anena Mota. Those who love me call me Mazet. Those who hate me call me Mazet. But either way, please don't forget to please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join the family. One, two, three, let's go! Housewives of Durban. If you don't watch Real Housewives of Durban, please get to watching it so we can have a conversation in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe without any further ado. Let's get right into the video. So, the cast of Real Housewives of Durban consists of Olondi London, O Annie, it's Nongo, it's Laktongo, it's Sorisha, it's um, who else is there? Oh, it's Tobile. No, no, else. I think my boost is like the Marlo of South Africa. Like she's not a main cast member. Let's talk about when they were at um Nambiti Hills and the lions, lions, what lions den when they went out for that um thingy. I think it was like two episodes ago or two yeah two two episodes ago when um lo, um Annie was asked about the cheating right. Personally, I felt like she gave like PR answer. I just felt like that anyone was a, a pure answer good team. I feel like sometimes you pass situations or good team, things that shit like that happens and then we get to a point where shit like that doesn't happen anymore. That's when we decide to get married. What does that mean? I mean tell that things I won't lie. Especially manga sitting things about that I'm very tell that things I wanna know good I want you to say it. Like I'm a fucking two year old goody. This man when they saw na so this is why it took forever for it. Like I want you to tell me Dinzaba. Because I mean you're in a reality you're in a reality show. Ma kulu minga ma kev cutting corners there chigeleza. No, dog, say it straight, dog. I also felt like that was a very invasive question. And I felt like they were trying to insinuate something, Gary they know something. That person who asked that question, I felt like they were trying to insinuate something. Say it with your chest. Oh, fuck. Say it with your chest, or don't say it at all. And La Congo and her flowers, right? <laughs> Guys, honestly, ne? Initially, when that episode aired, when she got the flowers, I was like, oh, wow, she got flowers. I guess maybe she's seeing someone. I didn't think much of it at the time. Until people started saying, Woti, maybe she sent the flowers to herself. And then I started to think to myself, Woti, I don't... Mm, I've never lived in an estate. I'll say that. I'll be the first one to say that. Because she continued to explain, Woti, that person lives in the same estate as Ujojo, right? So, did she tell the person, Woti, I'm going to your estate and I'll be there? I don't think she sent the flowers to herself. I just don't think so, but it just it's coming across very like very what I'm basically I'm trying to say is did she say it was I'm at maybe house number sixteen and that's where he knew to where to send the flowers. Or I'm at the blue house and maybe there's the one, only one blue house by the river. And then that's how they found out. How do you know where to send the flowers? The comment about um Jojo is married to an old man. Yeah, bo. An old man. I think, mm, honestly, if I'm honest, ne, at the, before it was even a conversa a topic of conversation, I didn't realize, Guti, he was older than her. And maybe because I'm completely oblivious to things like this. Like, I, 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 uh, I mean, I moved, I was friends with someone who was seven, seven months pregnant and I walked with her every day and I thought she just had a big belly. Like in my head, like I just don't know. Like I just I don't f pay attention to things like that, unless you come to me and say Zanelli, hey, Satane Queen. It doesn't look older to me. Like it doesn't look like an old man. That's just my opinion. Like, like he just doesn't look. I can see it, but it does, it's not like yo yo girl. Was I was No, it's not. Like Honestly, it. guys, I know someone who's when I was in matric, like I was in grade eight. His parents had like a 20 year old age gap. It's like, I don't know why it's still a conversation, honestly. The minute you marry an older man, it's a conversation, you're good to, um, une mag. There's no way I'm going to someone who's just older. And I'm just like, no, I just actually, 
it just fucking rocks my world and i enjoy being on top honestly guys no let's be honest there was no need for nonko to talk about ayana what he he said he was gonna leave her you don't need to talk about that because now it's a jab dog you could have just said you know what because i was afraid of my husband and and i didn't wanna i, I didn't wanna set him off any by any means necessary and i completely agree with you like congo that's another conversation you shouldn't have said good he said he was gonna leave her because he's not here now to say vela i said that nonko's aunt like she has this thing she's long-winded like she talks about the same thing she says the same thing but in different ways she'll vent and vent and vent and say good info and kudos to her because i'm also like that i don't like Bamba info ngi tlitu because guys nemfu leyo nga kubamba isa ngi tlitu nga kule ga manji mpans uwe pants ba manga ale bav but buto kutu we swear you i understand uno nku in that sense ne the question was the guti why did she take so long to address the damages ya bo when they asked to let's see where she lives and they wanted her to be specific londi has been there jojo has no i don't remember but i think if my memory serves me right, Jojo has been there. If they want to know so bad, why can't they just ask Londi and Jojo? Unless she's been taking them to like a burner house. But I don't feel like that's the case. Let me also say this. I feel like with Ula C, we hardly ever see um, any her life outside of the ladies. Like we see her like jogging at home. Like not jogging, man. Working out at home. We see her taking calls at home. But I feel like we don't see her like maybe saying, "Oh, I'm on my, I'm, I'm with my sister," and we also see her with the with the ladies, I wanna with them, the the virgins, the maidens. What is it? The virgins can't relate. But okay, no. <laughs> Shit. I wish I could see more of like the family aspect of it, like more of as much as it's with the ladies. But I also wish I could see Annie with her family, with her kids. Yeah, boy, and I kind of like I wish I could see that part of their lives as well. Like as much as she's like a businesswoman and she's this and she's hardworking and she's that. Like, maybe they should, but they ne it never is. Let's talk about Londi London. I might know her music, but I might not know it's her on the track. Joe was hosting Joe Cella at her house. She was like, "Oh yeah, I love your music, Londi. You should perform." And Londi was like, "I'll send you the invoice." Yeah. On the day, Londi called Jojo and said, "You know what? I can't perform because she thought she'd be done with her music, and it's not done, and she can't perform her old music because of reasons she can't disclose." Right? It's fine, sure. But my thing is. I feel like Londi should have said, you know what, Jojo, I'm recording, I'm still busy recording my new music. And that's the music, and that's the only music I'll be able to perform um, at your event. And if I'm not done with the music, I won't be able to perform my old music for reasons I can't mention. So just give her the heads up, Guti. If I'm not done with the music, I can't perform. So she knows, Guti. If I'm not done, automatically means because I'm not performing. I get it, she knew she was recording new music. And at the time, she thought she was going to be done. And it ended up, she ended up not being done. Sharp. That's fine. But my thing is, I felt like she could have said before the time with Jazz and George, I'm still recording new, new music and I might not be done. I might be done. So just keep that in mind. When Londi continued to say, maybe if it was a serious booking. And that's a, honestly, guys, that's mad disrespectful if you d you knew it was not a serious booking when she asked you to do it there when they had the, the meeting or the the chill chairs there at george's crib you could have just said you know what i don't do serious bookings i don't do claim bookings i only do serious bookings done but for you to say it now like it's warranted which she can be annoyed with okay dog i don't feel like jojo would have been annoyed if you told her weeks before or a week before or days before maybe she could have made a plan and if she didn't make a plan that's on her but telling her on the day and then continue to say maybe if it was a serious bookie that's just like you are you taking a piss i was like but anyway please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you on my next upload